Hello and welcome to the first episode of The Real Horror, the show where we talk about the uncanny parallels between indie horror games and real life. Today, Five Nights at Freddy's. You'd have to be blind not to notice the similarities between Chuck E. Cheese's and Five Nights at Freddy's. Both children's pizzerias meant to entertain children with animatronic bands. But as we see in Five Nights at Freddy's, it's not so innocent. <laughs> but haunted animatronics moving around to their own accord at night couldn't happen in real life, right? Wrong. According to an employee whose YouTube channel name is The Big Cheese, the animatronics are left on a random mode. Nothing is pre-programmed. It's all up to them. And when are they left on this? That's right, at night. I just feel bad for anyone working after hours. Especially Ubercharge Films. Ubercharge Films is a Reddit user who posted on a Chuck E. Cheese question thread. He said that one late night he was working and he heard a loud noise which he was sure was someone breaking in. When he went to investigate, however, he found the Chuck E. Cheese animatronic lying on the ground, malfunctioning, looking straight into a camera, almost as if he knew it would be watching. This could just be a coincidence, right? Well, this next one might leave you not so sure. A video was released on YouTube of a kid who seems to have gotten stuck in the animatronic's arms. Although the kid gets away fine, this next part may make you shiver. Once again, it just may be a coincidence. But ask anyone. If they didn't enjoy their time at a Chuck E. Cheese, it was most likely because they felt the animatronics were staring at them. Now, ask somebody else. Look it up online. All of these things add up, and it makes you wonder if it's just a coincidence. Is it all just timing? Is there something else at play here? To answer that question, I pose another question. Do you believe in ghosts? Let's start way back. Back in the 1940s. In the late 1940s, a toy store opened, known as King Norman's Kingdom of Toys. While it was open, multiple children had died there, including the most famous, who fell from the third story. However, friends of employees have said that there was a rumor going around afterwards that there was a man who was abusing the child, and she tripped over the railing and died. Another story is that a clerk who worked there hung himself. The building is now occupied by Chuck E. Cheese's, and the animatronics are said to move by themselves. Do you want to see more parallels between Five Nights at Freddy's and real life? Check out Game Theory's video. He was the inspiration for this whole series. He talks about five murders that took place at a Chuck E. Cheese's, and it has some pretty scary parallels between the game. Subscribe for the next episode, and tell me what you think it should be about. Outlast or Slender? See you guys next time.